So here's a scenario. If you put a metal and a piece of wood in a fridge for some time and then get them out, the piece of metal will feel colder to your hands than the piece of wood. But does that actually mean that the metal is at a lower temperature than the piece of wood? Well, the answer is yes and no. And that's what we are going to find out in this video. Let's begin by laying some groundwork here. So temperature is one of the fundamental quantities in science. It tells us how hot or how cold an object is. Now there are many ways of approximating temperature. One of them is to use our skin's thermosensitivity. By touching objects with our skin, we are able to get an approximate feeling of how hot or cold they are, and that's temperature. But obviously this is not the best way of measuring temperature because it's very subjective. Different people have different sensitivities to heat and temperature changes. So for example, something that feels very cold to me might not feel cold for another person or might not feel as cold for that person, which is why we invented thermometers for accuracy and precision when we are measuring temperature, especially for scientific purposes. Now to answer the question we asked at the start of this video, there is one more concept we need to understand, and that is thermoconductivity. So thermoconductivity, as the name states, is the body's ability to conduct heat. Thermoconductivity tells us how fast a body conducts heat or how fast heat moves through a given body. Metals have high thermoconductivities, which means they typically absorb and transfer heat at a faster rate than other materials. So back to our original scenario, if you put a piece of metal and a piece of wood in a fridge for a short time, the metal's temperature will quickly drop. So this is because the metal has a high thermoconductivity and will therefore transfer or lose heat very quickly to the surrounding air in the fridge and therefore its temperature in a very short time will be lower than that of the piece of wood. But what happens if you leave both of them in the fridge for a sufficiently long time? Well, according to the zeroth law of thermodynamics, heat exchange will occur until all the bodies are in thermoequilibrium and therefore both the piece of wood and the piece of metal will be at the same temperature if you give them enough time in the fridge. But even then, the metal will actually feel colder when touched than the piece of wood. So why is that? So here's the answer. When I hold the piece of metal from the fridge, because of its high thermoconductivity, it will quickly absorb heat from my hand, which presumably is warmer than the piece of metal. And so, to my skin, the piece of metal will actually feel cold just because it's transferring heat from my body at a faster rate. And on the other hand, the piece of wood being a poor conductor of heat will transfer heat from my hand at a slow rate so it won't feel as much cold as the piece of metal even though they are at the same temperature. So one big takeaway from this video is that the sensation of hot and cold that we feel when we hold objects is not entirely due to their temperature, it's also due to their thermoconductivity. I hope this video has shed some light on why a metal feels colder than a piece of wood when left in the same temperature for the same amount of time. Remember, it's all about the science of temperature and thermoconductivity. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more fascinating science videos like this. Catch you in the next one. Bye.